What's going on, my motherfucking Aquarius? It's your good sis, Lava the Empress. And for those who are new to my channel, I give that spiritual tea, yada, yada, yada. We're going to see something a little different here. Um, I've been inspired to talk about certain things in my life that um, I still have trouble with dealing with. So this particular reading is going to be based on how people view you and what are some things that you don't view about yourself which i feel like is very important to get all sides of the perspectives of your own being so that you can understand yourself fully i mean like who doesn't want to understand themselves right okay and so without further ado i already you know got your cards laid out and earth thing and um Let's get right into this tea. So, first of all, people see you, <laughs> Aquarius. You are a strong negotiator. Aquarius, you have this, most of my Aquarius out there have like this gift of gab. Like you can talk your way or like smooth your way in and out of situations. If you really want something, you have that charm, you have that sexual energy about you, or it doesn't even have to be sexual, it can be intellectual because y'all some intellectual motherfuckers. And um, you have that thing about you that just naturally, um, that you're naturally able to get what you want. Um, you may face a little challenge with that when you're not in balance, when your energy is not in balance, but overall people see you as somebody that can get whatever that you want. Maybe I feel like some of you out there, people see you as somebody who has like this regal energy. Like when you walk into the room, it's like, wow, look at her, look at him. Like you probably have a certain walk too. Some of you walk with a little, you know, pep in your step, whatever the case may be. Um, I feel like you guys carry yourself as such when you walk outside as well. Like you care about your personal appearance. You put energy and time into how you look. Um, for some of my Aquarius out there, you're definitely young for the ones that are watching in your 20s and late 30s. From your early 20s to your late 30s, and that's young to me. Yeah, like, yeah, that's young. You ain't 50, so that's young. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, with this young woman here, yeah, you definitely have a childish way about you. And when I say childish, I'm not speaking negatively. People see you as somebody who's very vibrant, very youthful, very regal, um, or you carry yourself that way. And some of you, people feel like you get around. Yeah, like you have a lot of options. You get around. That's the street. That's the word on the towns that you get around, Aquarius. But people see you as very youthful, very regal, okay? Um, able to, people see you as somebody who is able to hold back your emotions in order to get what you want. Some of you out there use that as a manipulative tactic. It won't work for long. But for others of you, you guys know how to think logically for sure and take a more logical approach. Um, the thing you don't notice about yourself or you have, maybe you do notice it, but you don't really shed light on it, is that you are a great student, okay? You have that ability to want to learn something, like if something you're questioning, you be the first one on Google, baby. You be the first one, I know that. Um, but yeah, something about you wanting to learn or eager to learn is actually a gift because some people are not eager to learn. And I feel like you have so many hidden gifts within yourself that are untapped, that are, um, very valuable to I'm, I'm hearing to your lineage and to where you come from your generation and some of you have this natural nurturing way about you okay that maybe you put on a back burner because people hurt you before and so you don't feel like everybody deserve it but naturally like this is like something you was just born with you're naturally um nurturing you'll you know some people might ask you for advice and your advice really really helps um you could be a doctor of some sort or just a healer of some sort as well um 
Yeah, some of you definitely are a baby mother or you want to have a child or something, or and some of you are a father that are, that are watching this. But I do see here, um, you are very patient as well. Like you'll wait for your right moment or whatever the case may be. Um, because you do understand how divine timing works for most of you out there. I feel like um, you definitely will get stability if you're not stable already or there will be some type of abundance in your family life in your foundation in your money people see you as somebody that's capable like if something wants to happen to you or whatever like or maybe not happen to you people see you as somebody who's capable of carrying a lot on your weight on your back and still being able to move forward Definitely. And spirit sees you as that person as well. And I feel like things are moving forward in divine timing for you. So if you need confirmation as if, you know, are things that you are planning on or whatever, are they going to work? The answer is a yes. You will be successful in whatever it is that you are um, trying to pursue. But, um, but also... That's what people are seeing you as. Somebody who is a healer. Somebody who is young, youthful. Somebody that likes to get around, okay? Um, but somebody that uh, knows how to persuade people and, and have that charm. Somebody that people look up to you, Aquarius, definitely. You may not know it or whatever the case may be, but people really admire you, admire your aura alone because you carry yourself in such a regal way and people see you as somebody that's capable of bringing balance into their life okay um or maybe being able to balance your own life out when even when shit is hard for you um yeah you definitely work you walk with a purpose or when when you enter people life they feel like, yeah, you're there for a purpose. Like, they feel your value right then and there. Yeah, people feel like even when you fail, like, you'll still get up and find the next, you know, the next thing that will help you in whatever it is that you're trying to do. People don't see you holding back just because you fell. Like, you're not the type to cry about it or whatever. You really... um pick your, You pick up <laughs> whatever you need to pick up, and you're like, all right, let's go. All right, this happened to me. This one did this to me, blah, 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 blah. But all right, let's go. And that's what I'm seeing here for my Aquarius. And there's a need to accept. Maybe you guys are very accepting of your situation. You are great at being in the present most times. Yeah, you guys have the ability to accept and adapt to changes easily. And maybe you don't know that about yourself, but people see you, people notice that about you as well. So um, I feel like let's get one more card, right? Let's get, ooh, wow. I said, let's get one more card. All the cards fall. Like I said, let's get one more card and the whole deck fell. <sighs> Why? Damn. Why? so tight come on <sighs> yeah, yeah 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 okay let's fix myself since this is gonna be whatever all right so let's get okay you guys i am back because bro always want a motherfucking fool but let's get 
one more card for my Aquarius, please. One more card. The advice to know it, the advice for you regarding who you are, Aquarius, is to understand that you do have a part and a play in people's success. You do have a purpose. You do, um, and without knowing, you fulfill it most times when you enter people's lives or whatever the case may be. You create balance, okay? When you're imbalanced, wow. When you are in balance, you're able to create balance in other people's lives. And your last card is what? House here. House, stability here is important for you guys. Maybe you guys are looking to buy a house, move into a house. Something about your house is very significant. Your foundation, your home, okay? Work on your foundation. Yeah, you guys definitely walk around and people notice you like you have this um be careful though because maybe you come off as you are better than people or you may walk with your nose down at people don't do that shit that's not nice you know and you don't get nowhere from doing that you only um push away people that can also be a beneficial to your life as well so but i feel like this is not on purpose like i said you carry yourself in a regal way and that's just what that is but you're very beautiful you're very handsome and Aquarius that's exactly what I got I'm gonna get one message for you guys channel message what is the channel message for you guys just one what are we so people want people coming you come into people life and they get so confused because you are somebody that has a purpose, okay? And not that everybody don't have a purpose, but some people walk around not caring about purposes. They just want to live life, smoke, drink, and whatever. You guys actually bring out the purpose in other people. You make them think about their own purpose when you're in their lives. And that's why they think, what are we? More like, who are you? And how did you enter my life? And how are you affecting me so much so that's what i'm getting for my aquarius if this resonated in any way let me know in the comment section below it's your good sis lava the empress and i'll see you in your next video bye aquarius